Hi guys! Okay, so as all of my videos recently, this one is long overdue, um, but about a month and a half ago, I was requested to just show a video of how I make my notes. Um, I kind of did one a long time ago, um, and even my dad tells me like I talked fast in it and everything. And so basically what I'm going to do in this video is just kind of do a time lapse of me doing a page of my notes, talking through it, and I'm going to show you two different things. Um, as many of you know that watch my videos, I sell my vet school notes. Um, and so I didn't get my iPad until the end of my first year, essentially. So a lot of stuff is missing, I feel like, in my note library. Um, and then a lot of my early notes, I'm embarrassed of because I was still learning how to make notes. Even though some people look at them and still think they're great, I don't like them. So I'm going to show you how I make a new note for something I don't have any information on. And it's kind of what I did, especially my third year studying for the NAVLE and how I do stuff where there is no new note. And then I'm also going to show you how I revise my current notes to make them more concise. The reason I redo some of the notes and not just say like, here's what it is, is one, because I feel like by the end of like my term five and six at SGU, which is the equivalent of year three in most vet schools, I feel like I had learned how to make, like take notes. I had learned like, you don't need to write everything down. I feel like I look back at my early notes and a lot of them are very dense. I've like basically summarized an entire PowerPoint and I just think there's like looking back in retrospect, if I'm selling my notes to help people, I think that now I have a better understanding of what to write, of what's important. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys. I apologize these videos come like so sporadically. I mean, I'm not studying for the NAVLE anymore because I've already passed it. But to be honest, when I get off of clinics, it's just like going to work. Like there's days I get home and I'm just exhausted and I don't feel like making content when even if I do these for fun, I still feel like I'm studying. So half the time I don't feel like doing that either, but I'm trying. And like I said, when I get out of school, I plan to like make it a part of my routine because I really do enjoy filming content. And I listen to you guys when you recommend things. And I've actually considered starting tutoring. I just don't know if there is that much of demand in the veterinary world like there is in like the human medical world. But hey, anyways, let's get into it. And I'm going to show you how I make my notes. I use an app called Notability to do my notes and I organize my notes by term at SGU. Those were each of our semesters and then each terms classes and within each of these different folders are my personal notes that I've made, their PDFs, their PowerPoints, all of that jazz and this is just my personal way to stay organized. Now none of my notes are exactly the same and you know sometimes just with how school went I time got away from me so I'm in this video I'm going to be showing you from my fifth semester um the respiratory unit because that was I never got to do small animal respiration obviously I know about it there's just not a note about it and so um first I scroll up just you know get back to the beginning my pencil actually died and this happens all the time but they usually charge with it about 10 minutes each iPad is compatible to one pen even the newer ones they're not ever compatible with both generations of the Apple pencil so always make sure you know which pencil is compatible with your iPad anyways like I said every teacher teaches differently so every presentation of you know information is presented so I kind of just scroll through to kind of get an idea of like how I want to do it I get a color theme going for all of my notes like I really like color and so I choose that I always start with the paper on grid because it makes sure things are lined up I can easily section off like the paper as I'm writing it and then usually at the end I will put it back to plain paper because then it looks nice so this is just how I do it this is personally my favorite way of heading my paper um, so Right now, my teacher started with emergency and trauma presentations of resp um, respiratory diseases and like not specific to any disease. So this is just me sometimes like you can't summarize. Sometimes I really do truly just 
list everything out in cases like this it's kind of annoying but honestly like learning to memorize your differential list and like not forget anything is great and for me writing really helps um like i said i really like color i like these color blocks because when you're going back and you're studying for navali these different blocks and these different colors that's what draws your eyes to it and having these really quick lists to look at are great um right now it looks like i'm copying from the page but you'll see as we keep going on um like how it's gonna all come out so you know sometimes like because now i sell my notes when i go back and make my notes i kind of like tell myself what does someone want to know um and even like if you're just making these for yourself ask yourself if you were teaching this to old you that knew nothing about it what would you want to teach them and i think that's a great way to write your notes it's like think about you were like re-explaining this to new you who had no idea what vet medicine was or was very new to vet medicine like i think a great way to do your notes is to write it so that a first year vet student who obviously has some clinical background can understand but it's simple enough and quick enough that you can look back at it many of you know i love to draw um obviously like respiratory distress is hard to draw so i went and got a clip from google which sometimes i do that just to like add you know some pizzazz to my papers but i do like to draw and if you ever look at my notes i do draw a little bit this was the end of one page like i said because this would take a long time to do in one video but this one page summarized i think i'm going to show it in a few seconds but it summarized about 30 slides obviously it doesn't have all of the details and to be honest is for an entering general practitioner you're not going to need all of the details that's why you have your notes in these textbooks to refer back to but these are the type of things that i feel like especially now having taken my navli you're going to need to look back and know the big things now i'm going to show you how i've redone some of my notes so this was from my third semester in term three red blood cells erythrocytes so the one to the left is my old file the one to the right is the newer file that i have redone and a lot of it is the same information but it's just reorganized more colorful more blocky see my line there that did get missed but it went from a five file or from an eight file page file to a five page file this is another one i'm redoing is from virology just because i think it's just very messy very busy a lot of random colors that don't go together so that rabies was originally one page now it's half a page um this canine distemper is half a page now ignore those numbers at the end i do like randomly jot down things on my notes while i'm working on them um so yeah i have a lot of work in progresses like i said i didn't have my ipad my first semester so i've been going back and making some notes for like term one or year one students who are first taking anatomy just pointing out the things that you really need to know one thing that i've noticed like from studying vet prep for navli and redoing my notes is that like you know when you come back and restudy your notes like this one parasite review for navli it's like you can like point out like what was important and what's not really important and so that's why when I make my notes now I try to do that for people that buy my notes just so they're not just reading like a bunch of myths um even like when it came back to Navli, like all of these really really helped me even though they were my personal notes and that's why I make them available to other people because I honestly like my notes were like a great study aid so this is just a quick review and if you have other questions you can always reach out to me on my Instagram Okay, so I hope that video was helpful. Like obviously all of my notes are a little bit different. So I can't say that like each note follows a certain rule. I've seen some people do notes where it's like, they always do like what it is, the pathophysiology, clinical science, treatment, how do you diagnose it? But that doesn't work because just of how every teacher teaches differently, it follows that rule for some. And so like, again, if you buy my notes, if you've ever seen my notes, all of them are a little bit different. But that's just a general rundown so i hope that has been helpful um if you have any direct questions on like how to study navali tips and things like that you can always message me on my instagram and you know i do respond to people but yeah until next time um hopefully i'll get a new video idea i also never really plan my outfits out for my youtube but i did wear this shirt because i'm about to go to the gym and i think it's really nice as you know, I like cats, although I hardly ever get compliments on it because I feel like most people in the world don't like cats. But anyways, until next time, stay safe, stay happy.